Before the break, Dan told us what to expect for the winter, and just because the colder temperatures are really starting to settle in now doesn't mean your yard has to be boring and bland. Why not dress it up with berries this time of year? And who better to ask how than gardening expert Jenny Rosencrantz from the University of Maryland Extension Office. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for having me. We have all these different berries, oh, yeah. and they all do really well in the winter, oh, in the cold weather. Absolutely, and the best part about them is that that's where they're supposed to be. Right. And, and it sounds really kind of funny because people go, well, why would you have berries, you know, in the winter time when you could have flowers and all that? But it's too cold for flowers. But these guys are survivors. Yes. And the ones that are native to us are actually provide good food for the birds. Good. But later on in the season. So uh -huh. we get to enjoy the berries for quite a while because these berries right here have to ferment. All right, so what do we have here? <laughs> okay, we have winterberry, which I think is so aptly named. So the orange one right here, the mm -hmm. orange and the gold right here is, is a winterberry, and this bright red over here is winterberry. So you can have, it depends on your decor. If you sure. have more gold, you could go ahead with the orange one, or uh -huh. if you have more red, you could go with the bright red one. Okay. And mixed in with the uh, beauty uh, is, is the, or this purple is the beauty berry. Beauty berry. And I love the fact that it goes so well with the orange. Uh -huh. It's just so pretty. Um, and the beauty berry, there's a native one and there's a Japanese one. And they're both beautiful and the birds just adore them later on in the season. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yes. Okay. And now something about the uh, winter berry is that um, they actually have, some of them actually have leaves or no leaves. Well, yeah, actually the winter berries, both the orange mm -hmm. and the red, are hollies. So they're hollies, like regular hollies, but they're deciduous hollies, so they lose their foliage just about this time of year. Oh, and okay. that's why you have these gorgeous, gorgeous berries with no foliage to, to fuss with. Oh, what's, tell me about foster holly. Okay, foster holly, that's the only one that I have that has green leaves. And this is a nice, narrow, upright holly. If, if you want it as a hedge, it works very well. If you realize it's very, very upright. Um, but I just love the bright, bright red against the green. And on the color wheel, red is opposite of green, so it makes the red look redder and the green look greener. Just as with the orange beauty berry, I mean the purple beauty berry and the orange winter berry, they're on the opposite side of the color wheel too, so they make themselves look even more pretty. Okay, so let's talk about Nandia. Nandina. Nandina is um, also called heavenly bamboo, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it can spread, so I will go ahead and say that right out loud, but in the, in the winter time, these berries are absolutely gorgeous and they're really not edible for the birds, so they just kind of hang on for the longest time. And uh, they have bright green foliage, I have a little bit of green foliage here, and they just they just last forever, and they're so pretty. All right, you talked about how the, the birds like some of these berries, but there are some berries you need to keep away from your dog? Yeah, I would say most of these berries, including holly berries, are not good for dogs or for, or for children to eat, because they're, they're made for birds, not uh -huh. for people. Okay, gotcha. Right. Okay, so we can also snip these and... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, bring them inside. Uh, you can stick them in in a wreath if you want to. Probably not a wreath that you're, that's on a door that you open and close, but you know, a wreath that's like on a window or something like that. Oh, and, okay. Uh, yeah, that would be fun. That would be a lot Okay, of fun. all right. So do we need to do anything to help them survive during the warmer months? Um, yes, these are all full sun-loving plants, so that means that they are exposed to sun all the time, so they will need to be watered in the summertime, especially if we have like a couple of weeks of dry weather and no rain, mm -hmm. get out the hose. All right, let's yes. talk again about viburnum. Oh, I love viburnum, mm -hmm. and I was going to bring some viburnum, but the birds already said, oh, viburnum, this like is really that. good. <laughs> so viburnum, we have a lot of native viburnums, and uh, they come in bright red berries. Um, there's one called Cardinal Candy that I absolutely love. Um, there's one, um, Cranberry, uh, and it's just so beautiful and uh, that they'll have bright red or glossy red and then there's one um, that's actually got blueberries and a lot of the old-fashioned old ones have dark purpley blueberries all right and so they're also very pretty now are, do we can we be planting these now oh absolutely as long as the ground is not frozen mm -hmm. you can plant anything and if you find them at the garden center and you say oh I do want to have this for next year go ahead find a nice sunny spot because since these berries all started out as flowers, the more sun you have, the more flowers you have, the more flowers you have, the more berries you have. All right, and anything that we can plant now for our spring gardens? Oh my heavens, yes. You can still plant bulbs. Mm -hmm. You can still plant uh, trees and shrubs, um, herbaceous perennials, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And this is a good time to do a plant exchange with friends who have other things. Ah. Like, I like that. You know? Okay. Or, I really like these berries. Can I have part of that? <laughs> <laughs> share and share alike. Absolutely. It's the season. All right, Jenny, thank you so much. So beautiful. And if you want more information on these beautiful winter berries and how to care for them, go to WBOC.com. Click on our picture at the top of the page. Well, these berries are so festive. They really do put you into the holiday spirit. But there's something else that may do the trick. 
We have two winners today in our Holiday Guide giveaway. See if it's your name we call in just a little while. Plus, today's cooler weather may really put you in the mood for some serious comfort food. We'll show you where you can get your Irish fill of it next. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.